back guys again in this tutorial I will come with a another networks theorem that is superposition theorem and this is last theorem of super network many theorems of network but this is describable this is last theorem I will explain already three theorem so first of all in this tutorial I will show you how can you verify superposition theorem and find value using superposition theorem now you know what to do simply first go to file new project I already do this of name superposition now then you have to draw this circuit 24 volt DC, 8 ohm resistor, 4 ohm resistor, 4 ohm resistor, 3 ohm, 3 ampere DC, independent source voltage, volt DC, 12 volt DC. Now, you know how can we draw this circuit. I will already explain you. If you have any problem, then first watch my video. How can you draw any circuit in piece by piece? Now, now so the my, the question is given to you like that you have to find current through this 3 ohm resistance using superposition theorem you can find theoretically also first of all from theoretically or from bias point analysis in piece by simply draw this circuit you can find what is the current across this theoretically or bias point analysis now then you find using superposition theorem and then verify so we have the question given to you in th this the question given to you in this manner you have to find you have to find current i given to you in the, this direction across 3 ohm resistance now now what is the superposition theorem super so the superposition principle state that the voltage across or current through an element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of voltage across or current through the element due to each independent source acting along i will consider consider only here currents our requirement is current so we come to current means what it means means if you act three here you can see three volt independent source so if you act only one in the circuit alone and dissolve these two then the current through this is i1 and if consider this and dissolve this two then i2 similarly this i3 and the algebraic sum of all current is the our final current through this that is equal to when this all three are acting in such a in respectively now so p what to do you have to remove this 24 volt DC you can and no I 20 you can dissolve this and this and act only one this first of all then th that is I1 now go, you know how can we remove this selection go to parts only select ok and you can voltage source diesel means short and current source diesel means open you may know so you have to open and here open and here you can you have to sort simply our deleted and you have to sort this using you can do this now we re open this and sort this now only one source is acting now we have to go piece by new simulation profile you may know and type anything you name now one pop-up window open here that is simulation setting and go to simply what bias point 
and simply apply ok it's so simple and then you have to run this now current here click on current you can see this 2 ampere current flow through this when this is acting along means he, what is the direction of this 2 ampere current the direction is you can see in top 2 amp 2 ampere resistance means direction is like that and if it is in bottom then direction is upward so this is the this is the how this is method to find the current direction now uncheck and do reverse of we reverse this means we sort this and sort this and acting current source alone that is we now we get i2 we already get i1 that is 2 ampere remember now you can easily go p spice and run and here click in current icon i icon you can see 1 ampere and direction is downward I already explained you downward now what to do we get I1 and I2 I1 is 2 ampere I2 is 1 ampere now we have to I3 when this source is acting and these two are sorted dissolved now do, do that now we can s you can see we open this and sort this and this voltage source acting along then run run this we get I3 our last three dependent source means three current will and now we get current that is one ampere mod but you can see one ampere here means direction each direction each not like that direction is direction is like that one ampere current you can so our i3 is one ampere and i i i2 is one ampere but down means i2 and i3 are cancel and we oh, i1 is two ampere so our net current algebraic sum of all that is two ampere so in this way you can find current using superposition theorem so if you have any problem related to this related to this comment below and sub don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you have any if you have any question please comment below now thank you guys like share and subscribe to my channel